What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. Welcome back to my reloading bench. I wanted to talk to you about compressed loads and whether or not they're safe. So if you're new to reloading, you might be a little bit hesitant to use a compressed load. And I'm here to tell you that you don't have to worry about anything bad happening if you use a compressed load. They're not scary. If you go on the internet and you go on to reloading message boards, you'll get different information. Some people say that compressed loads can be dangerous. Some people say that they're not. But generally speaking, you're going to read that compressed loads increase pressure and there's a potential that you could blow up your gun and go to the hospital and lose a limb and all kinds of bad things happen to you. And I'm here to tell you that that is just not true unless you're really compressing a load to an extreme level. And honestly, you won't even be able to compress a load that much because what will happen is your case is going to actually expand to the point where you're not even going to be able to chamber that round. And I've actually had that happen to me with some 416 Ruger loads that I was working on. And let me just give you an example, a real world example, because a lot of people on message boards on the internet, they don't have real world experience. They're just regurgitating things that they heard from somewhere else or they read somewhere or heard from someone. They didn't actually go out and test it themselves. So I'm gonna share with you my real world experience with compressed loads. So here we have some 416 Ruger loads that I'm working on and here I have a 350 grain brass solid and I want to show you how much powder I got in these cases okay you can see that powder is probably about a quarter inch from the case mouth okay it's pretty full and I can squeeze this bullet into that case with all that powder and I've never had any issues okay pretty much most of my 416 Ruger loads are a little bit compressed or mostly compressed simply because the 416 Ruger is a standard length cartridge and so I've never had any issues I do this all the time with the 416 Ruger never had any overpressure issues I use compressed loads in my 10 millimeter and I've never had any issues there. And when I say a compressed load, I mean like with my 10 millimeter loads, I have to put a good amount of force. And sometimes I have to actually really put a lot of force to seat the bullet to the right seating depth. And I've never had my pistol blow up or anything like that. Never had my 416 Ruger rifle blow up. Okay. And when I seat these bullets, I can literally hear the powder crunching okay i can hear it crunching when i'm seeding these long 350 grain bullets into this case i can literally hear the crunch so going back to my real world example i was working up to max loads and i put so much powder and i compressed it to the point where the part of the case just under the shoulder actually bowed out like probably one or two thousandths maybe three thousandths of an inch and I couldn't actually chamber the round anymore okay so that'll typically happen if you compress a load too much you're gonna actually deform the case a little bit because you're trying to force a bullet in and that powder has to go somewhere so what'll happen is it'll actually push out the case a little bit and expand the case like maybe two or three thousandths to the point where you actually can't chamber the round anymore so that's an extreme example I don't recommend you guys do that I was just trying to work up to a max load I wanted to see what I could get I don't recommend you do that okay but compressed loads are nothing to be scared of as long as it's within reason and you're still seeding your bullets to a safe depth okay pressure changes based on your seating depth all right so if you seat the bullet too far out or you seat the bullet too far in it's going to change the pressure the pressure is going to increase okay so you have to keep that in mind 
but you should always try to seat your bullets within SAMI specs, especially with pistol cartridges. Rifle cartridges, you have more wiggle room, you can seat the bullets out. So you don't really need to worry about compressed loads. Now, the one situation where a compressed load would be dangerous, especially with pistol cartridges, is if you seat the bullet too deep, okay? And if you seat the bullet too deep and you compress the powder, you're going to have a catastrophic situation because pistol cases are very small. So there's not a lot of room for the gases. So pistol cases are a little bit less forgiving because they're a lot smaller than rifle cases. If you seat a bullet too deep when you're doing rifle loads, it's not as critical. If you go a little bit deeper than Sammy spec, Obviously, if you go like, you know, a quarter inch below Sammy spec, then yeah, even a rifle case will, will blow up. But, you know, a couple thousandths below Sammy spec, even 10, 20 thousandths below Sammy spec, you're not going to have any kind of catastrophic situation. But with pistols, you have to be a lot more careful, okay? If you're seating your bullet and you seat it, you know, 10 or 20 thousandths below Sammy spec and you compress the powder, then you could have a catastrophic situation, all right? But generally speaking, don't be afraid to compress loads. I've never had any issues. Just do it within reason. If it's getting to the point where you literally cannot hold the bullet in the case anymore because it's so compressed that the bullet is popping out, or if it gets to the point where the case is starting to expand, like I mentioned with my example, Okay, I was trying to get a 350 grain TTSX into one of these cases here, and I had it packed with powder, and I was seating it, and it seated fine. I didn't have any resistance, but it looks like what happened is rather than the pressure fighting me as I was seating it, you know, on the seating part of it, the force went to the case wall, and it just gradually expanded the case a little bit okay to the point where I couldn't chamber it anymore okay so if you're compressing to that point then yeah I don't recommend that all right if you're compressing powder to the point where you can still reasonably seat the bullet with a reasonable amount of force and without having the bullet start to pop back out too much or having the case expand then it should be safe okay so that's pretty much it, guys. Wanted to talk to you about this. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.